kind of a double intro there, but that's fine. Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Good Prime, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. I sound super loud in the microphone. Am, am I loud? Am I loud? Could, could be loud. Maybe. Anyhow, <clears throat> before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of videos, but we're going to do it at the beginning. And um, let's say 200 likes. Uh, if this video gets 200 likes, I will continue with this style of video. Then um, it's basically, it's going to be me by myself inside lumber, just playing and, and showing you the fun that I have uh, of building and having, you know, just me time. Mm. By the way, that's Walmart brand coffee. Not bad. All right. It's not, not the best. I'm still looking for some artesian coffee it's supposed to be in the mail by the way good news on that end mm. huge shout out to the family that came over and hung out with us last night um thoroughly enjoyed it it was it was awesome and got to got to meet new people <laughs> um for those of you that don't know i i live with my family and for 17 was it 17 years? 17 years. We um, lived with just the four of us. Like, we didn't have family coming over and hanging out and stuff like that. We didn't really have anybody over to the house. And we kind of stayed to ourselves. Which is fine, because, I mean, we got to know our family, and I love my family, so that's good. But at the same time, we didn't want that here in in the new place that we live now and so we moved and the house that we got we specifically set it up to be what it is and that is a place where three four families can come and hang out on sunday nights and we can eat dinner and laugh and have fun and let the kids run around and play and it's really really good I I can't tell you how much I've missed having big family around um, and I know it's hard with coronavirus and lockdowns and everything the way that it's been I don't know what kind of family situation you guys live in the the people that are watching right now I don't know what your home life is like but I can tell you Friends and family, that is that is a huge thing to have. And you need to make time for it. I, I know our lives get busy. My, my life is extremely busy. In fact, I've probably got an article or something that I need to have written by today, by the time that you're seeing this video. Or I need to have a project completed. But that's just it. Life's going to happen. It will happen with or without you whether you're going to participate or not. And the only thing I can tell you is it does get easier. It isn't constantly chaos. And if it's a bad situation at this particular point in time, if you're, if you're watching this right now and your day is just absolute poop, okay, you're going to have better days. You'll, you'll have better days. Um, I don't know how to phrase this without <sighs> crossing into territories of like not being able to explain it to a little kid, you know, because I know a lot of my viewers, they are still younger and I, I know that your stresses, your ideas of what stress is are different than mine, you know? Somebody asked me one time, they said, what is your biggest fear, right? And I think it was one of the Q&A questions or whatever the case may be. But a lot of people were in the chat and they were answering for me. <clears throat> they were like, oh, I bet it's losing his YouTube channel. Oh, I bet it's this, that, and the other. I want you guys to know, like... My YouTube channel is one of the least worrisome things that I need to worry about because it's not my primary income. It is not the staple that holds my family together. 
it is not essential for me to get out videos every single day. I do it for fun. And I didn't always do it for fun. There was a time that I was like, I was really worried about subscribers and everything else. Now it's just, it's just me hanging out. It's just fun. It's kind of therapeutic for me to get on here and talk and just let out what I'm thinking about the day. I get to talk and share my ideas and stories. What was I talking about? I have no clue. It's one of the bad things about ADHD. Oh, one of my biggest fears. I worry that I'm going to outlive one of my children. That is my biggest fear. My second biggest fear is that I'm going to outlive my wife. Past that, if I lose my job, oh well. I can get a new job. If I lose my YouTube channel, oh well. I can I don't have to make videos. I'm fine. If I lose my eyesight, which is a strong possibility because I do have glaucoma. Oh well. <laughs> and a lot of you kind of <sighs> whenever you hear my answer on like whether or not I lose my eyesight, I can make it through that. I, I might not have my vision, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna have fun. Um, without my vision, I would not be able to be the programmer that I am, but I can definitely tell you, I would be working on some awesome voice recognition software. I would definitely not be messing up <laughs> my roof like this but I'll make it through. It's, it's a very dark topic to talk about, to worry about like whether or not I'm going to have vision in a few years. But at the same time, I've come to terms with it. I might lose my vision. There were a couple of years where I was not treating my, my glaucoma. I didn't have the, the knowledge that I was actually going to lose my vision. And I just let it get away, you know? So, I'm not worried about it now. And if I happen to use, lose my vision, I can go and be a musician. I could, I could write music. You guys, you guys could like listen to my songs here in a few years. Who knows? But come what may, I'll still be here and still have fun. And it's not, it is not my biggest fear. So. When you think about things on a larger scale, homework, homework's temporary. You don't have to worry about homework. You still need to get it done and you still need to worry about your grades, but they're not going to eat you because you didn't do your homework. You know, they're not going to destroy your life just because you didn't get some homework done. Um, for parents, okay, you might have a deadline. Like you have a project that has to be done by a specific point. I want you to know those deadlines are, they're not always hard shut down deadlines. If you just can't get a project done in a certain amount of time, that's it. I mean, it just can't be done and the project will get done. I know people work hard for deadlines. Just know that it's not the end of the world if you don't get it done. It is not. And there's always other people to help you out. Always. Anyhow, to the family that I met, I think you guys are awesome. It was fun. And I hope you get to like hang out with us more. And I'm definitely looking forward for skating because that's on Saturdays, we'll get to go skating. I miss skating. Oh, and for those of you who were commenting about my weight, <laughs> I think it might've been one person. And I don't know if you've actually known that I was on keto and everything else. I have stopped keto, okay? We are no longer doing keto until the end of the year because we have Thanksgiving, we have Halloween, we have Christmas, we have my birthday, like there are so many celebrations and things that happen in these three months that I just, there is no way I could not do keto during this time. So, and for those of you asking about my glorious 
voluptuous beard. Yes, it is coming in very nicely. Here, uh, um, do I have, do I have a close up here? Boom, look at that, look at that. Oh, it feels so good. I'm, I'm ready for the, the shave though. It's scratchy. Uh, it keeps my face warm whenever there's a nice cold breeze or something like that, you know. A lot of you don't have to worry about it. A lot of you just can't grow beards yet. Oh no! I completely forgot what kind of wedge that was. Oh, also, I wanted to try and do something. My old Minecraft games, the, the old Minecraft saves, they're gone. All of them are gone. That was on the old computer. I wiped and reloaded it. That's to my wife now. I have a new computer and I just downloaded Minecraft. I do want to start a new series, but I want to do something special, okay? I want to play peaceful mode. Peaceful mode means there's no mobs. Peaceful mode means there's no enemies. No bad guys. Except one. The Ender Dragon. I want to see if it's possible for me to defeat Minecraft in peaceful mode. I don't know if it can be done, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Now, what kind is this? This is a one third wedge. So let's go down here and let's do the one third wedge. Man, those menus are just, what in the world? Hold on, can I do this multiple times? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so every time I press E, it like takes this weird shadow screen. It looks like screen burn. I showed it to, to the, the other developers, but. I think it's kind of funny. It's a weird screen glitch that I've never seen before. Oh, what am I doing? I, I need to go back down here. I need to build. Hold on, let's, uh, let's put these through the ringer. These should be one by ones, right? Yep, one by one. There's one. We'll take this one as well. Shove it in there, get some one by ones. For those of you that have never played this game before, this is Lumber Tycoon 2. It's programmed by Josh Sheldon, who is known as Defaultio. By the way, Josh, if you happen to watch my videos, and I'm sure you don't, but if you do, dude, the, the, the travel caravan, ambulance, car, whatever you want to call it, that is amazing. Awesome job. And if you guys have not seen it, Josh Sheldon has a YouTube channel and he records all of his glorious inventions and puts them on there. If you've never seen it, you need to go watch his channel. Um, in fact, hold up. Do I still have the domain? Oh, no way. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if I still have it. I do! Okay. Defaultio.com. <laughs> I tried transferring the domain name to him like so long ago. Defaultio.com. If you go to Defaultio.com, it'll take you straight to his channel. You can use that to, to get to him directly. And his channel is called Cardboard Everything. So, again, Defaultio.com. Um, and to... Who is it? Is it, is it the wiki guys? I, I want to say to the croissant kids, the ones who actually let, watch me and see it now. You guys were asking a while back if default.io was available. It's not. I tried going and getting that domain name whenever I was first thinking about domain names. Default.io is not owned and I don't think we can own it because the page or whatever it directs to default is already a keyword like you can't use the keyword in ds dns which is domain name servers i tried i did um but defaultio.com is still a thing 
it goes to his channel. Um, I'll keep it for as long as I've got CodePrimate.com as well. So CodePrimate.com will take you to my site. Defaultio.com will take you to his YouTube channel. And uh, hey, Josh, if you have a landing page or if you have um, what like one of those IO sites that gives you all the links and all the different things, tell me what that website is and I'll, I'll direct you that direction. So... <clears throat> Akoza, welcome as well. So I do have a huge shout out to uh, Hoofer, Akoza, Luckfire, and I think one more. Um, the developer council. I went over and kind of looked around and we're going to be adding some more people to the developers, developers council that are inside my Discord. That way more people can get the developer roles. All you have to do is go to the uh, hashtag developers council thing link and it should tell you who to message how to apply and what the qualifications are for getting like master developer role i don't even know what i'm doing anymore it's master building that's that's what i was doing. i was going to take and build a whole bunch of the one-thirds right and that's that's what i figured we'd come in here and do tonight you know <sighs> Nothing big, just hanging out and building. I just realized I don't know if I'm going to be able to fill all those in. Like that one's going to be a hard one to fill. Anyhow, maybe we should uh, fill out more of the land. Because I know we're not at max land yet. How much money we got? 2,700? Oh, we're at 17 minutes already. Jeez. Where does the time go? Also, I was taking a look at my analytics. Um, it shows me that the optimal time that you guys watch videos is like 7 a.m. Central time. I don't know if that's because you guys start watching on like the East Coast at like nine or eight, which would be right when school starts. So put in the comments down below, if you can, do you watch my YouTube channel while you're at school? Because if you do, stop. <laughs> Wait until you get home. Wait till you're on lunch break. Like I want you guys to concentrate, do your schoolwork, do, do the things that you're supposed to. The other thing is the demograph shows 18 to 25 year olds. Now I know the majority of you are not 18 to 25. So are you using a parent's device to watch YouTube? And if you are, do they know about it? Anyhow, parents, if you, you are letting your kids watch YouTube on your devices, please make sure that you What is going on here? Oh no, it only allows for 30. So every time I place one, it's taken one away. It's random though, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, now I'm just messing them all up. You know what, let's, go, let's fill them in. Let's fill them in. <clears throat> and if you don't want your kids to listen to cursing and cussing and everything else like that, you found a great channel, but Mine's also not on like YouTube kids. Like my channel is not meant for just kids. It's definitely meant for the entire family. It's family friendly, which means it's suitable for all ages. It doesn't mean that I'm targeting kids, which apparently is what YouTube was trying to crack down on in the first place. <sighs> Sorry, for those of you that didn't know, um, the whole COPPA law a few years ago had a lot of uh, Roblox YouTubers and a lot of LEGO YouTubers up in arms. Because, I mean, technically, LEGOs are not just meant for kids. It's it's meant for, like, anybody who wants to build. It's still a family-friendly kind of thing, you know? Adults still build with LEGOs. 
and they even have entire sets called the architect set or something like that which are specifically for builders so maybe that's why i like lumber so much hmm all right everyone i'm going to end my lumber series and never play again i am now a lego building channel i bet i could i i bet i could anyhow <sighs> If you were having a bad day today, I hope it gets better. I hope that you're able to enjoy the rest of your day and just go along and have fun, you know? If somebody gives you a hard time about playing Roblox or if somebody gives you a hard time about me playing Roblox, just ignore them, you know? They're, they might be going through some things and it's okay, it's fine. People don't bully people because of something that the person who's getting picked on did. Bullies do not understand. They're not, they're not making fun of something because they know what it is. They're making fun because they don't understand or they're fearful of it. And it's nothing that you did. 100% it is not something you did. If you're getting bullied, if you're getting picked on, it is not your fault and you have nothing to apologize for. Had a lot of people who used to make fun of me, who used to uh, pick on me, either on the school bus, the playground, whatever the case may be. And I wish I had had somebody tell me back then what I know now. Ignore it. Yes, it hurts. It hurts when somebody calls you a name. It hurts when somebody, like, if somebody is physically attacking you, pushing you around, taking your lunch, school bag, whatever the case may be, that's a physical problem. And you need to tell a teacher about it. And that's 100% true. No matter what. But if they're just calling you names, walk away. Don't call them a name back. Don't try and prove them wrong. Nobody cares. Like, they will not care what you have to say about them making fun of you. Just ignore it and walk away. Okay? You're better than that. And for those of you who bully somebody else, stop. There's absolutely no need for it. In fact, I want you to do this. Everybody knows that one kid. Everybody knows that one person who is silent. Their, their jacket might be ripped up. They might look poorer than you. They might sit alone. They might have a special need. Go talk to them. Go find out what their name is. Go hang out with them. Even if you're afraid of what your friends will think of you, encourage your friends to come with you. Not to bully them. Not to make fun. To go and say hello. It's, it's a good step in the right direction. And who knows? That kid might be going through something that you just couldn't even imagine. I know that there's a lot of single parent families out there and there's a lot of a lot of stuff that's getting ready to happen during these couple of months. Like there's going to be food drives, there's going to be pantries, there's going to be volunteer work, there's going to be the Santa Clauses who stand in front of the, the thing with the bell. Da ding, da ding, da ding. The, oh, what are they called? The Salvation Army guys. I know that the, the Marines have toys for tots. I'm doing a shave for uh, Children's Miracle Network. You know, there's all kinds of things happening. And something as simple as sitting with someone during lunch and saying hello can make all the difference in the world. And it didn't cost you anything. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting a little emotional at the moment because 
<clears throat> Darren, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this out loud. Darren, if you watch my videos, if you know who you are, um, I went to school with you, and there were a lot of kids who made fun of you, and I didn't. But you know what? I also didn't stick up for you. And I didn't stop a lot of kids from making fun of you. So, if you're listening, which I don't know if you are, I want to personally apologize. I want to say I'm sorry for not stepping in and telling the other kids to stop. He was kind of a loner. Very Christian. Like, he would sing Christian songs down the hallway and stuff like that, but nobody ever walked with him, nobody ever sat with him at lunch. Just kind of an outcast. And he... He was... He was a little bit slower than the rest of the kids, but that's still no excuse for the way he got treated. And I feel bad for not standing up for him. So, Darren, I'm sorry for the, the entirety of this. Speaking of which, is the class of 2000 having a get together soon? Don't we have like a reunion or something coming up? Isn't it the 30 year reunion? Oh wait, no, it, it's only 2020. So we all missed our 2020 reunion because of COVID. So hope we can get together soon. I got a lot to tell you guys. <laughs> Hey, remember that nerdy kid back in school wore the Jinko pants and the Heelys? Yeah, that was me. Looking back, I was pretty much a nerd all the way up until high school, and then I got really cool. <laughs> if you consider uh, computer hacking and skates and breakdancing cool back in the day. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, I'm about to run out of um, cold wood. But that's okay. We're about to the end of the episode anyway. <clears throat> Just making my own little home here on Lumber. Down here in Lumberland. Nice. I think this will this will cover it, right? I think I've got three out of this one. So, and for those of you that don't know, I'm building with the one one by one by one because I've got the power. And if you don't know how to get the power, I do have videos on how to get the power. Just look up the uh, channel and how to get the power, the strange power. Oh gosh, I got like one little sliver right there. Come on, come on, little sliver. There you go. Grab this one. This should fill it in. Oh, I missed. There you go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh no. I completely forgot to go do the rookie axe. The the end times axe. Dang it. Well, there's no way to get an eyeball anyway, so I wouldn't have to worry about it. Uh, for those of you that don't know, on this base, um, I vowed to not play with anyone. This is purely a solo base. So everything that you see on this particular plot is all me. Like there's no help from fans. There's no outside influences. It's just lumber. So on that note, I'm going to end it. We are going to end with a glorious, you are amazing. There's nobody else inside the world, entire world who's like you. And that's special. I think that's an awesome, amazing thing. Think about it. Think about every human, every person in the entire world. Even if you're an identical twin, they aren't like you. And that's pretty cool. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. 
but it's your choice. If you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I love you for that. I love you for that. Just for being here. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro.